Hey guys, at last weekend I was in Prague for you and I visited the Somnium Connect 2024. And of course, besides the Somnium VR1 headset, there was a lot of stuff to discover and try. And what I experienced there, I will show you in this video. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DE VR. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodcoast VR, Opperman Events, Virtual Escape, Area 1 and Virtual Race in der Basel. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo DE. Yeah guys, the Somnium Connect 2024. It was a really, really nice event. The location was so cool in Prague. Prague is a nice city, guys. If you didn't visit Prague, go there. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the world, in my opinion. And um, I was again there. I think I was like 20 times there. Uh, and the cool thing is to, to see the progress, yeah? I, I, I visited the, them, um, so the engineers and Somnium, they work together, yeah? and uh, Marek and Arthur, uh, I visited them uh, like years and years and years ago and there was only a basement room where they showed everything and now they have the whole building and, and many employees and so on and it's nice to see this successful progress and these guys are really lovely, I love them, Yeah, they are so cool. Yeah, And then the, there was an event of course and um, the main thing was of course to to show the Somnium VR1 headset, yeah? So um, Arthur started with the presentation of the Somnium VR1. There was a really good, he, he's a nice speaker and he knows what he's doing and he's also a nice enthusiast. You, you see it every second that he is really into VR, yeah? And he showed everything. There was also a really good trailer. Everybody clapped hands when, when it was over. It was so good, yeah, the, the presentation of the VR1. And that was the main thing. But yeah, let's be honest, for me it was not so yeah, interesting because I've already seen the final version of the VR1 and I tried it. I, I think it was like three weeks ago where I also was in Prague <laughs> and I tried the final version of the Somnium VR1. So there was nothing new for me, of course, but there was a lot more stuff to see. So for example, they showed the Somnium world. So the Somnium space is mainly about the social VR app, yeah, the uh, Somnium um, world, and they showed the 3.0 update. And it was pretty cool, the world looks better, there was a cool magic forest and so on. They walked a little bit through the world, they showed the shops and, and, and new functions yeah, that you can implement, Tesla suit and whatever. Yeah, that was really nice, very interesting to see that. And uh, after that, I, I, it was lunchtime, like uh, 12 p.m. and uh, then the demo started. And of course, this for, for most people, this was most interesting because then you could try the VR1 and other stuff. So there, for the VR1, there was a racing simulation and the flight simulator. And to be honest, that was 
of course not so interesting for me because as I said I tried that already so I left uh, other people's the space to try that because many people of uh, of the community paid uh, entrance to to try the VR one and to be honest it was only like three stations to to try the VR one uh, for many many people yeah uh, so I left this to to others because I already tried that but I wanted to try there was one station where you could try the Somnium VR one with the Tesla suit in Half-Life Alex and this I really had to try <laughs> this was insane uh, but about this I will make a separate video in the upcoming days okay that was uh, um, nice but it's too much for one video yeah and then you could try the ET controllers they are like a little bit like the index controllers and so on um, yeah uh, interesting controllers with you could put on the trackers the Vive trackers so that I tracked and so on really interesting and there was also um, Hypervision. Hypervision is a company about the, the VR lenses and displays and that was insane. They had like four different devices, not VR headsets, but it was only the display and the lenses and you could lift it up and watch through the lenses. So the first lens was also already pretty good. It had a huge, huge field of view. Then I tried the second one, even bigger field of view. It was a blast, a really good, yeah. And the third one, for example, had like, it was crazy, like normal lenses. And then in the corner, left and right, there was also lenses. So the whole human vision was covered by the lenses. And that was insane. Yeah. And then I asked this guy from Hypervision, uh, and where's the headset where they, uh, implement those lenses and he said there there is no headset yet but they are talking to companies to manufacturers yeah and uh, they will also um, release a yeah I would say a beta version or a prototype where other developers can use the technology and so on and that was really a blast so guys if you are interested in very nice future VR lenses check out Hypervision and then there was also finally I could try the Lynx R1 standalone mixed reality headset. Yeah, and uh, yeah, for for this I also make a separate video because it's just too much to, to for this video. So make sure to subscribe, of course, and hit the bell so you don't miss the stuff in the future. And my personal insane uh, feature to try on the Somnium Connect was the. Tesla glove. Insane. I, there was a glove and you could feel virtual stuff. Yeah, it, Absolutely crazy. Never seen this before. Never used this before. They are also very expensive. $15,000. Uh, but really cool. But also there I will make a separate video. Yeah, This is only, uh, this video is only what happened there. And that the demos were so cool. I didn't expect that I can try so different and so cool stuff. And after that, we uh, were back uh, uh, on our seats and um, it continued on the stage. And next one was uh, Marek from uh, VR Engineers. And this guy is insane. He, I love him so much. He's one of the most friendly guys on the whole planet, in, in my opinion. Yeah. And um, he's uh, the boss of uh, VR Engineers with the X-Tile headset and he presented the Xtal Kavu, yeah, the, the upcoming headset uh, with even higher specs, and also they have uh, fiber optics to um, a separate PCI Express card inside the PC that calculates all the different stuff to so that the GPU and CPU have more performance. That's really insane. Yeah, it's a very interesting upcoming VR headset. And I really hope in the somewhere in the next month they in, will invite me to Prague again <laughs> to try the Xtal Kavu. I'm really looking forward to that. So the Xtal Kavu is of course a very expensive headset, but it's insane. The optics are really insane, but they are mostly used for military or high-end flight simulators and so on. Really nice. Then <clears throat> there were the guys from Tesla suit and they showed like uh, 
where the Tesla suit is used. Not, not at games, not only games, but mainly in the um, medical area like uh, stimulating the muscles if you have any problems or so and also for the military or training the police. For example, if you didn't see an enemy coming from the right corner, uh, it, it vibrates here on your hand and it, it says, oh, you, you missed something, you did something wrong. That's really cool. <clears throat> and then were the guys from Ultra Leap. Ultra Leap is known for very good or even the best hand tracking modules in the VR headsets and uh, also in the Lynx R1 and in the VR1 it's used and it's very good and they showed some new updates for example the developers have now access to the cameras inside and they can do whatever they want with the cameras and <clears throat> so on. After that there was uh, Stan Laroque, La I, I, can't, I can't speak French so <laughs> um, he's the uh, boss of Lynx and he told us something about the upcoming Lynx R1 problems with, uh, that he had in the past and now they are fixed and they can deliver the, the first units of or the next units of the Lynx R1 uh, and um, was also very cool. Uh, after that there was a topic that was not so interesting for me. It was about NFT and blockchain. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care about that stuff, but they explained uh, how the blockchain works inside the uh, Somnium and so on. Yeah, um, For many people that was perhaps interesting. And after that there was this guy from Hypervision and he that was very very detailed technical. <laughs> Insane. And, and he showed something about the new upcoming lenses and so on. Uh, this lenses that I also tried with around the corner and uh, that was very very interesting. So keep your eyes open for Hypervision. After that there was a panel talk yeah, that was also interesting. Um, they talked a little bit uh, about the future of VR, what's the uh, best of VR1 and all, all that stuff. was also really nice. After that they showed some live scenes from Somnium. That was really funny. They showed also some funny scenes uh, or they bought some, uh, they showed how to buy uh, NFT item inside the game yeah, and how it works in the blockchain. That was pretty interesting to be honest because they also they, they showed it live. It was live yeah, and uh, this is really nice. At, at this point I, I really want to say that this was a very professional um, meeting because I mean to show such a technology live, the VR1 headset with full body tracking mixed reality on a stage and everything works. There was no technical problems and so on. That's really hard to master and uh, much respect from me to the whole team that this worked so good. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah and that was already it. It was uh, after that it was a cool mixed reality party where the, the DJ was on stage and he had the VR1 headset on his head and he activated the mixed reality pass through and behind him there was the uh, video wall where you could see the live view. So we danced in front of the stage and we saw ourselves on the video wall and also the DJ equipment that he used because he, he looks at that and that was really good because it showed the very very good mixed reality uh, view of the VR1. It was everyone in the in the whole room was very impressed by the uh, VR1 mixed reality pass through. I, they even improved it after, uh, after my last visit. Really nice and uh, they even said it's not worse than the uh, Apple Vision Pro even. Yeah, So extremely good mixed reality pass through. Yeah and that was already it. Yeah, it was a very nice and professional event. Also, it was so nice to meet those people. My, my favorites are of course uh, Arthur from Somnium Space and Marek from The Argenius. I really, really love these two guys. Yeah, they are so nice, so friendly guys, and. I, I I'd even drink a beer with them. Yeah? I mean, uh, Marek, for example, he is. He's such a nice guy. When I visited like three or four weeks ago in Prague, uh, Prague with my girlfriend, 
He even took his time hours and hours to show us the city of Prague. How cool is that? I mean, he's this, the boss of the Argenius. He, he doesn't have much time, yeah, of course. He, I asked him, he, he doesn't never do vacation or so. And then he took the time to show us the city. This guy is so nice and lovely, yeah, really, really cool. Also, Arthur, of course. <clears throat> and then I met some other YouTubers, for example, Tyrell Wood. He's such a nice guy, yeah. I, I also uh, drink some beer with him and uh, it was nice talking with him. Also, on the next, uh, e um, on the next morning, we met at the airport and we talked like two hours or so. Nice guy, really, I, I love him. Greetings. <laughs> and uh, I also met Brad Lynch, yeah. He, he's so cool, he's such a funny guy, yeah. And uh, also there was some uh, German speaking uh, guys from the community that was uh, of course also nice to, to speak some uh, of my mother language <laughs> uh, and uh, was, was cool. And, but, but the whole community, it's so much fun to, to meet them because they are all interested in this new technology and it was a, a really fun and yeah, so, so to see those open-hearted guys and nice guys and uh, the, the community that is together, I, that, that event was one of the best days I had in the, in the last two years or so. Yeah, Really, really nice. Thank you for the inv invitation and for this nice and professional event. <laughs> so guys, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because as I said, there will be some more videos about the Tesla suit, the Tesla glove and the links are one in the upcoming days. Very interesting as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that was a little bit interesting for you. Thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!